The views expressed on this program are purely those of Richard Lawrence. He contains explicit and insults that may be offensive, abusive, or downright mean to some individual, entities, groups, or organizations. You should not listen if you are easily insulted, overly sensitive, lack a sense of humor, or just have a stick up your <coughs> If you go on and you are offended by this video or audio, we really don't give a <coughs> as this is a frequent occurrence. We have set up an email to which you may submit all your complaints. The email address is please at foff.com. That's please at fof. Com. As this is only meant for intelligent, honest, open mind person, viewers and listener discretion is strongly advised. Enjoy! Hello there. Welcome to Richard's Report. Coronavirus, COVID-19, the most deadly virus of 2019, spilling, no, running over into 2020. Some have called this an epidemic it's not epi like used in the word epicenter suggests that the disaster is confined to a region this virus has made its way to at least 185 countries and territories so far so just like you wouldn't call a prince a lord the queen a lady or a doctor a miss so too must we give COVID-19 a proper respect she's a pandemic hashtag feminism the virus has infected more than 2,000 more than 270,000 persons worldwide and has killed more than 13,000 of them speaking of 13 we had one of those recently, Friday the 13th of March. Many channels would normally bring you horror movies like Jason and Freddy or Predator. But why bother? We live in a world with COVID-19. What could be more scary? At least we can see the justification for persons buying out all the toilet paper they can get COVID-19 you have caused us to crap our collective pants Wuhan China where the virus originated along with other parts of China have started to see reductions in the number of new cases Italy however is seeing rapid increase in their new cases and troubling in the new in the number of deaths like hundreds a day recently overtaking China as the country with the most deaths not really sure what Italy is doing to uh, contain the spread of the disease maybe they are taking the opportunity to get rid of two to about 15 percent of their population of over 60 million what they are what they should be doing is social distancing the new buzz phrase and a phrase I needed so badly in my high school years hey Richard why are you sitting there alone loser I'm not a loser I'm social distancing yeah no one wants to catch your nerd nerd I'm not a nerd oh look you've also caught a case of the uglies it spread all it spread over your entire face what what's that hideous thing growing out of your neck oh wait never mind it's just your head anyways social distancing this means we should minimize the social interaction like handshaking hugging kissing or slapping people in the face so ladies your face slapping privileges have been suspended indefinitely we should also interact with others from a distance of at least two meters or about six feet where possible non-essential businesses 
should also be closed and one that do stay open should have reduced hours and should all allow fewer persons inside the establishment at any one time. 10 in America and 20 in Jamaica, for example, where possible, persons should be allowed to work from home. Public transportation are also being asked to uh, are also being asked to do their part. Taxis are being asked to carry one less passengers, while buses, bus services like the Jamaica Urban Transit Company (JUTC) are only accommodating seated passengers. In New York, for example, persons were asked to wait for a less crowded train. Many failed to do so and as a result, thousands of new cases emerge. So this is a strategy we know work. Countries are, have also started to practice social distancing. Like Jamaica has of Saturday, March 21st at 11.59 there will be a ban on all passenger travel to Jamaica. Passengers leaving and cargo coming in and going out will be allowed. This is a move I support, although I would have done it in February when COVID-19 started taking over the place like Gangnam style. The U.S. has also banned air travel coming in for all non-citizens and non-permanent residents. If you have recently traveled, you should self-quarantine for at least 14 days. If you have come in contact with someone who recently traveled or who came in contact with someone who recently traveled, etc., you should also self-quarantine for 14 days. Think of it like an STD. Once you find out you have it, you should contact all your partners. In the case of COVID-19, if you have possibly come in contact with someone with it, with her, in the case of COVID-19, if you have possibly con come in contact with her, you should contact those you have come in contact with so they can protect themselves and their family. If you have been to places like China, Italy, Greece, UK, Spain, Japan, New York, etc. in the last six months, you should self-quarantine. If you were on a flight number, you should call 8881LOVE, that's 888-664-5683. Don't be stupid or stubborn like some kind of elephant, man, because this disease is more deadly than criminals like Reagan King, for example. Many experts predict it to last at least for another 18 months. What can you do to protect yourself? Well, firstly, don't be an idiot. I have seen girls taking, um, walking three quarters naked saying something has got to kill me. Why not Corona? Understand this. You are not just putting yourself but putting yourself but others at risk like your children the elderly and persons with underlying pre-existing condition such as diabetes hypertension asthma heart disease cancer lung disease etc because covid19 unlike insurance companies is glad to take persons with pre-existing condition 
Secondly, wash your hands frequently with soap and water, preferably running water, for at least 20 seconds. If this is not possible or your hands are not visibly dirty, use a hand sanitizer or hand rub with at least 70% alcohol. Avoid touching your face. Why? Because this virus has little effect on your hands but loves nasal and lung tissue. Many businesses will feel the need to sanitize the hands of persons entering their establishment. This is a good practice, but you should do so with recognized off-the-shelf products. Mixing multiple products such as bleach, hydrogen peroxide, and alcohol is a no-no. These chemicals will react and may have an unintended outcome. Thirdly, regularly clean areas that are frequently touched, for example, door handles and rails. When coughing or sneezing, do so into a tissue or the bend of your elbow. Immediately discard tissue and wash hands with soap and water. You are, if you are not feeling well um, stay isolated at home if your condition worsen or if you or the person is very young very old or has a pre-existing condition call 888 one love and the operator will advise if you need to visit an hospital Fourthly, you should not venture into crowded areas such as cities and towns where possible. If you do, when you reach your doors, you should remove all your clothes, then head straight to the bathroom and bathe or shower in warm water over 27 degrees Celsius and put on fresh clothes. Nurses, security guards, and other uniformed personnel should wear regular clothes to and from work and should shower at work before leaving where possible. Uniforms should also only be worn once before cleaning. Fifthly, masks and gloves are appealing but are recommended for persons who are already sick as well as sanitary and health workers who are likely to come into contact with objects or persons who have the virus. Masks and gloves worn by regular persons are just there as a reminder to not touch your face. Finally, there have been lots of talk about infants and the elderly over 60 years old and persons with pre-existing condition. Make no mistake, this disease does not kill them exclusively. COVID-19 does not discriminate based on age, gender, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. She's out to get us all, so it is up to us to protect ourselves and our communities, including the most vulnerable, such as the young, the old, and those whose immune system is compromised due to the present, uh, due to a pre-existing condition. If you have the virus, hugging your family might not be goodbye, but an invitation for them to come with you. So don't do that. So what are my recommendations? Well, cleanliness. Single use masks and gloves are for, well, single use. Discard them because trying to reuse them, you may infect yourself or others. Don't panic. Follow any advice issued by your government. If you are quarantined, 
do not try to break the quarantine. Stay informed by listening to your radio or watching your television. Very little is known about COVID-19, but it is known that the virus does not survive for long in temperatures above 27 degrees Celsius, while it survives for weeks below freezing. It is with this in mind that I recommend the following. If you have a, a hair dryer, put it on low and direct it to your face. Low or medium should be warm enough as high might be too warm. Breathe in the air for about 20 minutes. The warm air should kill the virus inside your respiratory tract. If you do not have access to a hair dryer, you can steam your face with warm water. It's the same concept as before. Cook food thoroughly and wash hands after handling meat. Avoid frozen products like ice cream and reheat leftovers thoroughly before consumption. Also, be careful where you get your information. Like if some guy on the internet tells you some also be careful where you get your information like if some guy on the in uh, you don't know on the internet tells you to steam your face with boiling water you should think about what he's saying before you do it some have suggested garlic but garlic is a natural antibiotic meaning it kills bacteria but COVID-19 is caused by a virus and so it will have no effect. Persons might come to your house asking to come inside to sanitize it. These might be criminals. They are always looking for opportunities to exploit people. This one is as good as any. Be vigilant. When you receive any COVID-19 information on WhatsApp, FB, or anywhere else, check the credibility of the source and the information before forwarding it to your friends. Finally, as much as you love your love, as much as you love your family, if they die from COVID-19 or the complications from the virus such as pneumonia, it may be best to cremate them as soon as possible. Stay safe, share this video and thanks for watching.